just at the paint shop getting the wall colour. Today I'm putting up the cornice using my uh, Makita sander and I'm just at the paint shop getting the wall colour because it is going to be done today. Today is day three. Don't be mistaken for my shirt changes. How you going? Hey mate. Hey Brock, how are you mate? Good Max, how are you Yeah, pretty good. Hey, can we, can we shoot a video doing this? Not really. Alright, today we are doing a colour match. How much are these tools selling for? So you can actually buy these, take them to your job and just stick it on the wall rather than take a sample. It comes with an app, yeah? Yep. What do they reckon it is? The client said it's hog bristle, but 
you know, because we don't take the clients for yeah. it, do we? So this will give you the closest Torbman's color. Yeah. And then also a cost uh, manual formula. Cinnamon sugar. Sounds good. Yeah. Oh, this one, bleached leather. Yeah, yeah. Oh, bleached leather. Yeah. But then it's open to interpretation and you put it on and people can be like, mm, nah. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, but I mean, if they've got hog bristle from 10 years ago, it's going to look different than mm. fresh paint. So. It's going to look like bleached leather. Yes, thanks. That's hog's bristle. Yeah. Let's just go hog's bristle, like they said. Or is it just me? There was a lot in that, eh? It's dark, dark, pretty dark colour. Yeah. If someone says, oh, this looks a bit light, you say, oh, that'll dry off darker. When they say it's a bit dark, you say, it'll lighten up. Good old tricks of the trade.